Well, any parent knows it's not easy to get the kids to do their chores around the house, but thanks to the help of new technology, a local family has had some success. News 10's Jamie DeLine tells us about the Busy Kid app and how it's helping teach kids important life skills. 11-year-old twins Zoe and Simi of Loudonville know the value of a dollar in hard work. Thanks to the Busy Kids app, they're excited to help their parents do chores around the house. We clean the cat litter, wipe the counters, and vacuum the floor. And then we also empty the dishwasher and fold the laundry. Once they complete their chores for the week, they get an allowance, and the app allows them to keep track of how much money they've earned. It's very important to teach the children fundamentals about money. And I think the app is a good uh, starting point uh, to do that. Once the app is downloaded, here's how it works. Think of it as your kid's first job with direct deposit. And when that direct deposit happens, we actually split up their money automatically. Okay, so think about it. Kids do jobs around the house. They click them off. Okay, we keep track of all that. And then you as a parent would get a uh, message on Thursday that says, hey, tomorrow's Friday. It's payday. Do you want to approve the payday? And uh, when you approve that, we pull the money through our bank account into our system, and then we automatically divide it up into saving, sharing, and spending. A debit card can also be purchased to go along with the app. They can literally swipe it, buy stuff on the internet, just like you and I would. Kids can even purchase stocks if they choose or donate some of the money they've earned to charities. Mary Aviza says it's not just housework that parents can put on their children's to-do list. So even though our children are, you know, high honor students, we still encourage them to have about 30 minutes of reading every night. And so that is put on there as well. Zoe and Simi learning very important life skills. Reporting in Albany, Jamie DeLine, News 10, ABC.